West Side Story is one of those pieces that everything came together. The right minds came together at the right time, at the right place. And of course you had Stephen Sondheim, 25 years old, and Robbins, Bernstein, Lawrence. You had Peter Gennaro, uh, the co-choreographer of the show. There was one, uh, another choreographer in the show that people usually don't speak about. But uh, they set out, literally they set out, to try to create a piece where they could stretch it as far as they can artistically in each of their disciplines. They were going to take it as high as they could stylistically and technically. And they were trying to see how far they could go and make it function within a commercial setup of Broadway. And it worked 61 years later, you see, and, and so I saw Stephen Sondheim speaking to people about the piece and everybody was like, the show is about prejudice, the show is about love, the show is about hatred. And he told everybody, that's not what the show is about. He said, the show is about theater. And in reality, it's known to be one of the most collaborative pieces because it works in the opera, it works in the theater, it works uh, in a ballet company, and you can even go and see a symphony concert of the music alone, and it works in that setting as well. Obviously the music is, is so good that I think it, it's instantly relatable to anybody. I first started hearing this when I was a little kid and I had no idea about New York City or gangs or anything, but you know, I was drawn to it and I think there's something to that in the music. The piece itself, there are kind of timeless themes in, in this piece and unfortunately a lot of them are very relevant today in that I think we've become very tribal and it's not hard to imagine this scene playing out today in, in very many places in our country right now and we've, you know, it brings up all these topics about immigration and welcoming new people and even racism with the police and people trying to get out of their circumstances and improve their lives and find love yeah. despite the barriers that are put in front of them. This was written 60 years ago, but it's more relevant now than it was then, I think. Um, racism, sexism, xenophobia, and or just, you know, fear of the unknown. If you really boil all of our issues down, it's just that we're afraid of what we don't know and things that are different. And um, I think this story, the younger, the better to hear it so that you can see that there's nothing to be afraid of if something is different, if a person is different, looks different, acts different, says something different. It's all about love. Yeah. It's all love. <laughs> it's a dramatic piece, and any good dramatic piece requires a great cast, and any good director or choreographer that is going to make that happen knows that the input of the artists is, is crucial, because you're passing it on, and it's their responsibility, so they have the material in their hands and they're the ones speaking the language. They speak however they speak. <laughs> and it was it's their bodies and their minds and their hearts and everybody's different. And, and Robbins and this piece especially takes that very beautifully. It's really about individuals. Yeah. And, and if they are very striking and wonderful and creative and yeah. generous, you get West Side Story. It's just outstanding to hear that music coupled with all of these guys dancing so incredibly, and wow. that it's and it's a beautiful show. I mean, it looks it looks like it should look. It looks like New York. You can see all the water towers and everything, and it, you can see relatable characters no matter where you come from or you know what your story is. Right. I think we can all pick someone in this cast that we know in our lives and that we can relate to and that you know they're having experiences on some level that we've all had to. People root for Maria and they root for Tony, they root for them together and there's something really relatable. I don't really, I can't say why, I don't know what it is that we see star-crossed lovers and you want them to succeed. You see how pure and out of nowhere and magical this chemistry is and this passion and this, these fireworks that came and it's so simple and true and honest that it, it makes no sense that wh why can't they be together? They should be able to be together. And um, I think that very, on a basic level, is relatable across generations. I think that what attracts people is the fact that love actually happens, no matter what. And we can relate to that, you know, like you can be in the worst of the killing fields, somebody's gonna fall in love with somebody. Or somebody's gonna do something generous to somebody. Or somebody's gonna save somebody's life. And, and so, 
that human connection and, and the fact that it flourishes even within the mud, within the nastiness of the other side that we also have, is what's fascinating to us. I think that Romeo and Juliet thing still works. <laughs> even if they die at the end, they made it, they loved one another. The love, the love existed, nobody can take that away from them.